Hello from the Edinburgh International Book Festival. My name's Tom Morgan-Jones and I'm an illustrator and an author. I've written The Red Dread, a picture book for six to, well, three to six year olds or six to three year olds. And I've illustrated about over 70 books for children. And today I thought we'd have a draw along and we could draw the very clumsy Norman the Norman from Normandy, who appears in the book Norman the Norman from Normandy. And also this year, just out, Norman the Norman and the Very Small Duchess. So, here we go, shall we begin? Do you have your paper and your pens or your pencils at the ready? I hope so. So, being a professional illustrator, I always judge probably wrongly where to start. So if I was gonna draw Norman and his helmet, it would be ridiculous to start down here because I've run out of space already. So, always quite good to think where you're gonna start a drawing. He's got a very tall helmet and a very long sword. So we'll imagine the helmet's gonna go up at the top here and his little podgy body down there. So, it's a very big helmet because it's his father's helmet. It's always good to wear a safety helmet. We all do on our bikes, don't we? So, there, one big shape for his helmet. And then he's got a very big protector for his nose. Very important. Why don't we have those on bicycle safety helmets? I don't know. So, we could draw a line across. So there we've got Norman in his helmet. Right, we could do some rivets. Just make some shapes on the front there. Makes it look all metally. And a line down. And now, very important, Norman's eyes. So, let's do a nice round eye. Looking out. And then let's try another one as well. There he is. He probably does need to be looking out, so we can just put a couple of dots in. There he is, and he needs a nose, I think. Just a squiggle like that. I reckon all our drawings are going to look different today. I always find it quite tricky to draw Norman the same, but it doesn't matter, it's just a drawing. You can do another drawing straight afterwards, and that's the joy of drawing. So, wait, here we go. Let's draw down and draw his cheek. Round and a little dimple for his chin, and then round again. There he is. So, what's next? Shall we draw his mouth? There we go. I'm just trying to think if he's smiling, or if he's worried, or if he's confused. I think a little dot for a little spot of confusion. Right. And then let's draw his shoulder like that. And a line down there, that's going to be his sleeve. And let's draw his long little arm there. And another one kind of in parallel like that. So he's going to be holding his big sword. We can draw one finger, two fingers. With drawing you can do what you want. It's very complicated to draw five fingers, so let's just draw three fingers. It's your drawing. Right, there we go. So, and then we can draw the handle to his sword. Little round thing on the end. Give that a bit of a squiggle. And then his fingers here on the other side, holding the handle. And then that's to protect him. Right then, let's have a look at the handle and we can draw a few lines. A bit like our bike again when you get the bicycle tape all around the handle for grip. Let's give him a bit of grip on his sword handle. There, and then I reckon the sword's going to go behind his head. Right all the way up there, all the way back there. And then another line like that. So, let's draw his body now. It's quite full. Again, my drawing's a bit different each time. Sometimes it's a bit thinner, sometimes it's a bit fatter. Might be because he's had his breakfast that morning and he's got a bit more breakfast in his tummy. There's his belt to keep him in. 
and then the bottom of his chainmail. There we go. And then, because it's an accidental type, I don't think he was paying attention. He was swiping his sword. Let's make his feet go the other way. So, drop two little lines down like that. And again on that side. And a little illustrator technique, just to get a bit of 3D-ness. Little bit of shadow there, little bit of shadow there. And then get his feet looking that way. And again. And then another little illustrator tip to make him look like he's actually standing on something. Just a couple of lines underneath. There and there. Now, here he is. One thing it's nice to play with is textures and patterns. So, because this is chain mail, I've got something in a bag right here and you can use anything you like at home or at school and i've got a cheese grater so let's use that here we go put that underneath here and there we go just to give it the effect of a bit of chain mail saves you drawing every link it's being lazy really isn't it or is it having fun i don't know there we go. And a bit more. You can experiment with different things if you haven't got a cheese grater at hand. I don't always carry a cheese grater with me. There we go. And there we have cheese grater Norman the Norman from Normandy. I hope you enjoyed doing your drawings. If you did, just have, you could do another drawing straight afterwards. So, hope you enjoyed drawing. Thank you very much from the Edinburgh International Book Festival and goodbye.